This review was made possible by contributions from viewers like you. Good evening, one and all, and welcome back to Bob Shaween. As the Pumpkin King of Halloween Land, it is my duty and privilege to show you all kinds of pumpkins, in all sorts of colors, textures, even shapes, such as square. That's why we're looking at Spookly the Square Pumpkin, an animated film based on the children's book of the same name. We open on Holiday Hill Farm, where apparently every day is a holiday. Except on, that it's not. It's, it's a cool just a farm. Morning. Just and no, I don't think they're using the definition of holiday in that every day is a vacation for visiting tourists. All we see on this farm is this one tiny farmhouse, and the farmer himself doesn't even show up until the very end of the movie. We're not even 30 seconds into this movie, and we open on a big fat lie. It's a cool, crisp morning, just before Halloween in the most beautiful pumpkin patch you have ever seen. It turns out this movie's narrated in rhyme. Luckily, they only do it some of the time. We meet a bat named Boris, who is trying to eat a particularly feminine ladybug, and his sister Bella feels the need to shame him into not eating it. How many times do I have to tell you? It's this kind of behavior that gives bats a bad name! All this scaring and swooping and bug eating! It's so old school. <laughs> One, you look like a couple of fetuses. No one's going to think that you're scary. Two, you're a couple of predators. Why do you care if anyone thinks that you look scary? Three, it is not considered old school to eat bugs. It's called biology. <laughs> After releasing what should have been their next meal, they alert this living scarecrow, which is never explained, about a strange new pumpkin. We then meet this new pumpkin who just so happens to be our title character, Spookly the Square Pumpkin, played by Sonia Ball. Don't recognize that name? She's the voice actress who brought Pinocchio 3000 to life. Maybe that's why I already hate this kid. What's your name? Su S S Spookly? But it's not my fault I'm square. Maybe I'm not done growing yet. But where I'm irked by how paint by numbers cute this character is, little Tom here doesn't like him because of his squareness. He's not like us. He's a freak of nature. A mistake. A weed. And since he's a bully, they had to give him a New Yorker accent. Because when you're telling a story about how we're all the same on the inside and how you shouldn't judge people, it's important to paint your bad guys with as broad and as stereotypical a stroke as possible. And that name, Spook. What kind of name is that? It sounds evil. Spook. Spookly. Okay, he does kind of have a point there. For some reason, none of these other pumpkins have halloween -y names, so why did Spookly name himself something that sounds like Spooky? There's no way, no how, and not the slightest possibility that Pointy over there is huh? going to be allowed in the Jack Olympics. Jack Olympics, huh? I've never heard of the Jack Olympics before. Uh, Cool Cat, have you ever heard of the Jack Olympics? Exquisite! Jack the Scarecrow here says, screw it, Spookly's a pumpkin, so he's allowed to compete. And the winner of the Jack Olympics is how we named the pick of the patch for Halloween. Isn't it, Jack? Well, sure it is. And it's the greatest honor of all for a pumpkin on a holiday made especially for pumpkins. Halloween! Halloween was made for pumpkins? Oh, silly me. I thought it was originally conceived as a way of honoring the dead when the veil between our world and theirs is at its thinnest. But nope. The pumpkins deserve a day all to themselves where they get their guts scooped out and massive chunks are carved out of their heads. Happy Halloween, pumpkins. Today is your day. 
every pumpkin deserves a chance to win the Jack Olympics and be the pick of the patch on Halloween. And every pumpkin, oh, no matter what, deserves a chance to wear the candy corn crown. Did somebody say candy? Yes. Someone said candy. Someone said a word which means absolutely nothing to you. Because you're a spider. And spiders don't eat candy. Spiders eat other bugs. A Bug's Life featured a Black Widow in its cast, and they made it pretty clear that she eats other bugs. Pixar didn't feel the need to dance around the issue that she is a carnivore. Carnivores eat other living creatures, and I think it's high time we stop demonizing them for it. Oh, come on. It's a kid's movie. Things are allowed to be cute. Okay, fine. Things are allowed to be cute. But when you're making Albie the Racist Dragon look more realistic, you've got a problem. Did somebody say crown? What, Jack? That looks like the very one I lost last week. And this is something else I'm noticing in movies like this. Why are so many female characters Southern if they have to be sexy? Because Southern accents are sexy on a woman. Some people have a Southern accent, and those are hot. Okay, granted, but all the time? It's like every time there's a female dog in a movie, she has to be a French poodle. It's just weird. Sorry, Bobo, but you'll have to win this if you want it. Her name is Bobo? Is she the son of Coco, heir to the great lineage of Godo, Mogo, and Chim Chim? Spooky sulks off when he's ambushed by the spiders from before. Edgar! Alan. And I'm Poe. <laughs> and I'm done! Get back here. I love you. I love you too. You're spiders. Oh, we prefer to say we're in <laughs> web design. <laughs> Spookly wonders what's so great about Halloween, so the spiders elucidate for him. Well, let me show you what I mean. As the death knell tolls? They cheer him up with a little song about how important pumpkins are to Halloween, naturally dancing around the elephant in the room that pumpkins are more usually butchered when having anything to do with Halloween. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> Halloween does seem like a lot of fun, but the other pumpkins said... Other pumpkins? Other pumpkins? Did Itsy Bitsy stop climbing the water spout because the other spider said he couldn't? No! Itsy Bitsy was the only spider mentioned in that story. If other spiders there were, I'm pretty sure they all drowned in the flood. Did Charlotte stop spinning her web? Eventually. And do you know why? No! no. Thanks for sucking all the wind out of his sails, Alan and Poe. We're going to help you win that delicious, scrumptious, mouth-watering, sugar-coated crown! <laughs> because it was established earlier that you have a taste for candy, and you want to keep it for yourselves. Okay, now we've got a plot. So the Jack Olympics are held the next day, and... Well, that was unnecessary. Uh, Jack explains what kind of events are going to be held. Well, first off, we've got the Pumpkin 500, racing around and around uh, this track here. Uh, secondly, it's the Smack-O-Lantern, knock down the pins uh, here, here, uh, oh, here, and uh, here. Uh, and finally, it's the Pumpkin Pitch, flying through the air. Accuracy counts. Everybody meet up by the water tower in five minutes. Let's get going. Hmm? Oh, what's the matter, Spookly? Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Sure you can. Come on! Besides, you'll never know if you never try. Except that two out of three of those events involve rolling, so, uh, yeah, you're pretty boned. Boris! Oh. Boris, you weren't going to eat this cute little guy, were you? Yes, he was, because he is a bat, and bats eat bugs. Deal with it. Meanie head. 
I'm not a meaty head, it's nature! Oh, that Bella sure is sweet and nice, too. Would it be so wrong for a spider to fall in love with a bat? Ah, uh, hey. uh, uh, oh, ah. Uh. So the Pumpkin 500 begins. And contrary to what you're probably thinking, this race is won not by rolling, but by bouncing. I see no reason for Spookly to be at a disadvantage if this contest has nothing to do with how round you are, so he's only losing because he forgot how to walk. And then he drowned. The end. <laughs> Not exactly, but don't worry, kid. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. He would finish the race two hours later, covered in mud, and having missed the other two events. So yeah, little Tom is declared the winner, except he's disqualified after already having been given the gold medal because he and Big Tom accidentally tripped Bobo with one of their vines. Why wasn't he called out on it as it happened? First place goes to Bobo. Just give me it already. <laughs> Oh, Bella! See, this is how it starts. First you have indoctrinating bats into thinking that it's wrong to eat bugs, and then you have spiders falling in love with bats. Where does it end? How long will it be before it's okay for people to fall in love with pizza? Their next event is the Smack-O-Lantern, where Little Tom and Big Tom manage to knock down the most pins, but they're disqualified after already getting their gold medal again. And now it's time for the final game, the Pumpkin Pitch, where they're catapulted through the air and they have to land in this tiny hole. Bubble makes it through just fine, but Big Tom, regardless of how accurate his landing was, can't make it through the hole along with her. That probably would disqualified again, huh? Okay, this movie has me completely rooting for the Toms here. They're disqualified from the first game because Bobo just happened to trip over their vine? Frankly, if pumpkins being tethered together like this is that much of a hazard for the other pumpkins, there should be separate races for the conjoined and the non-conjoined pumpkins. Secondly, they're disqualified because they used their vine to help them knock down all the pins? That's not cheating, that's using their handicap to their advantage. That's teamwork right there! And in both cases where it looks like they've won, they're given the gold medals just so they can be taken away during their crowning moments of glory? That's just pointlessly cruel. And now they're competing in a game which is clearly unfair to the larger pumpkins? I don't care if these two are being presented to us as the bullies. This movie's punishing them for being different just as much as it is Spookly. Except I'm not rooting for Spookly because... Ew. Now that the games are over, it's time to tabulate the scores. Just let me figure out what the scores were. Let's see, uh, three events times ten, uh, no, no, well, one event worth, uh, all right, 200 minus 500, that's the, uh, okay, minus ten points for disqualifying, and that means... The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Big surprise, Bobo is declared the winner, proving once again that good looks are more important than personal achievements. And now that Bobo has been declared the best pumpkin in the entire patch... Time to give her what she has coming to her. <laughs> so they celebrate with a knockoff of Monster Mash. The Gentlebane twist. The Gentlebane twist. Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? But God's had enough of this, I guess. So the party is stopped by an oncoming storm. It blows all the other pumpkins into this cart, which is teetering on the edge of a river. Kind of a weird place to set down your cart while Spookly's squareness prevents him from getting blown around like the other pumpkins. Jack gets pinned down before he can help the pumpkins, so it's up to Spookly to save him first. Spookly watched as the flames of the fire grew near, looked up at the water tower, and got an idea. Oh, that 
Sit! I'll drown him! That'll save him! Actually, he saves him by plugging up the water tower. Then he saves the other pumpkins by wedging himself underneath the wheel. Not sure how this stops the cart from just tipping over, letting the pumpkins fall to their doom, but hooray, Spookly's a hero! You saved our lives! You saved our lives just so we could all be slaughtered a few hours later! Hooray! Little Tom, don't you have something to say to Spookly? Well, I guess being round ain't everything after all. Bella! Boris, would it be so wrong for a bat to fall in love with a spider? <laughs> Boris? What do you want to me? Boris! Boy! <laughs> no more bugs. I promise. That's right, kids. Ignore a proper diet that your body was designed for and just eat candy all day. Thanks, movie. So they all start dancing again when the farmer finally shows up to put a stop to all of this. Well, I'll be a square pumpkin. <laughs> Why, you're the most amazing thing I've ever seen. A square pumpkin. You know what, fella? You're going right up on my front porch. Right up where everyone can see just how special you are. Ah, uh, that's nice. The prestige that the pumpkins get from winning the Jack Olympics is just thrown out the window. I'm gonna prop you right on the front porch where everyone can gawk at your freakiness. And Halloween was Spookly's night. Inside him shined a light so bright, and all the pumpkins loved the sight and the warmth of his square light. No, 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 no. If you want to see a glowing spookly, it's going to look something like this. Now you know the story of how spookly grew. Actually, no, we don't. We have no idea how he grew into a square. Is it genetic? Was he raised in a tiny box? Tell us! And maybe one day we all will discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. Well, that's just a flat-out lie, because everybody chooses their Halloween pumpkins almost exclusively by how they look. So that was Spookly the Square Pumpkin. It was really dumb. Are you surprised? Look at Spookly. The animation is bland. Spookly himself is so cute by committee that I refuse to find him endearing in the slightest. The subplot with the bats is... Disturbing, to say the least. The reason why pumpkins are really involved with Halloween, which nobody talks about, seems like a wasted punchline. And the inclusion of the Toms as bullies is just pointless. In the book, Spookly was teased by the entire patch. To take that kind of universal mockery and give it to only one or two characters kind of takes away from Spookly's plight. He's not a victim of societal persecution, he's just the victim of one asshole. And what was the point of making the Toms victims as much as Spookly was? Okay, so Spookly can't do some things because he's square. Are we really not going to address the dichotomy of how the Toms are equally incapable of doing some things because they're tethered together? Wouldn't it make more sense to have Spookly try to be their friend because he sees how they really aren't so different? You want to teach your child audience that we can all get along? That's how you do it! Not by showing them bats being guilted into not eating bugs! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find some more pumpkins to lobotomize. See you later. It's just a thing, it's just trick or treat, everybody. It's just a thing, it's just it's Halloween, and you know what that means. It's time to do the Transylvania twist. The Transylvania twist, not the zombie stomp. The Transylvania twist, not the gypsy jump. It's the only dance that puts you in a trance. Do the Transylvania twist if you believe that.
Transylvania twist. Oh.